You know I'm sexy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not the sexy boy. Sexy boy. I'm not the boy boy. So, um, another thing I wanted to ask you about. There's this WWE production is a lot of our content on our post shows and. We talk about the, the zooms and the letters and the words that they put up there and the shaking cameras. What do you make of that? Personally, I s- somehow caught 12 rounds, a John Cena movie from about 10 years ago on HBO a while back. And I noticed the shaking and the zooms and the cuts. And I thought to myself, I guarantee that's where Kevin Dunn picked that up from because he wants to make movies. Yeah. What do you make of that? Because there's there's so often, and I had a WCW producer, Ross Foreman, that says, I don't know why these guys are taking the bumps because oftentimes you can't even see the bumps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it, 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 t- for my taste, it's it's too much. And like, bro, I'll find myself a lot of times watching this show and say, stop with the camera already. Like, please just stop shaking the camera. The word thing, I don't get, bro, because it yeah. it makes it look like a children's show. And it's like, I see, bro, that's the problem with, with the show. Like, what, like, what is it? What am I watching? What am I watching? Like I watch promos like that and big words will come on the screen. So it looks like Sesame street. Then the next minute, somebody's calling somebody else a bitch. And it's like, what, what, like, what is this show? Like somebody needs to explain to me what this show is. So yeah, that's, that's just always been a thing. Like I'll, I'll show new people or I'll have my wife watch. And she'll say, what happened? What was the move? Like, she knows moves. She's seen me do them. She's been to my wrestling practices. And she's like, what move just happened there? Like, they zoom in so much and they cut so much. Yeah. And it's it's so weird. It's just so odd. Uh, a guy that you worked with, I'm sure, quite a bit, and Jeremy Borash got hired by WWE after being with TNA and Impact for forever. Uh, and I think you worked with him in WCW as well, right? Yeah. What did you think of that hire for WWE? No, I thought that was great. And obviously, bro, they did it to do the Matt Hardy stuff, you know, which, you know, Jeremy did that stuff at TNA. And I mean, it was the best stuff they ever did. I mean, hands down. So if they were going to repeat that, and I'm sure Matt Hardy, um, you know, I'm sure petitioned for that, Mm -hmm. you know, long and hard and never gave up and good for him. And I'm sure Matt Hardy said we can't do this without JB, which they probably couldn't have. So I thought it was a great heart. If they were going to go back there, I thought that was great for them to do. Is that supposed to be on tonight's show? Well, not to date this, but yes, it is. Okay, I'm sorry. 